Hi there and welcome. This is Vince of VincePrep.com answering a common interview question that my clients are struggling with sometimes, which is walk me through the resume. It's a common way for an interviewer to start an interview and it, here's my tips for how to answer it. First of all, what's the question behind the question? Walk me through the resume. I think the interviewer is basically saying, in effect, why should I admit you? You want to give your answer briefly and you want to show just the highlights of your career. You're not reading your resume. You're presenting what's not in the resume. Let me talk more about that. Most of all, you want to demonstrate growth. You want to show, in effect, you're walking your interviewer through your resume or rather up your resume from your first choice to your second choice to your third choice from college into your current career. And again, you want to show that you're in, on a growth path. You're on a path towards growth on an upward career trajectory. That's a fancy word. It just means you're moving forward in life. So the milestones. You want to show um, accomplishments, desirable traits, and characteristics that match what the school values. You also want to show choices. You want to show that you're making conscious choices. Um, imagine that your resume has an invisible column, which is why. So you, your resume is a series of choices. Your university, your major, your career, your industry, your first company, your first job, your second job. Perhaps as a follow-up, why MBA? Why this school? Why now? What's your short-term goal? What's your long-term goal? The point is that everything you're choosing um, you're demonstrating what you chose. That's what you chose is written down. And every choice you've made is in the resume in one way or another, either directly or indirectly. But what's not in the resume, and therefore what's interesting in an interview, is why you made that choice. And I would suggest that you try to frame the why in, in terms of skills you wanted to gain. So what skill or knowledge did you hope by choosing your university or your major? Why did you choose your industry? Why did you choose your first company? Why did you choose your first job or your current job? You want to show growth over time. So what I did and why I did it. So my first position led to my first skill. My second position led to another skill. And perhaps my current position represents a synthesis or a combination, uh, a synergy of skills one and two. Again, you're showing growth in this resume, upward growth, because you're trying to get into a highly competitive MBA program um, and you want to show selectivity and conscious choices moving towards something exciting. So here's a simple example. This guy says, I joined my company because I wanted to work in an international setting. I believed my industry X, whatever it is, let's say finance, would provide me a chance to use my analytical skills. Let's say this guy was a mathematics major or something that had some kind of analytical or scientific background. I joined the finance department in order to learn accounting and profit-based decision-making skills. Later, I moved to another department to gain another skill. So here's my real example. So these are, I'm going to highlight three choices I've made and why I made them. So when it came time for me to choose colleges, I got into some Ivy League schools, Harvard and Princeton and Yale, but I wanted to go to Stanford. It felt like a place I could gain more creative confidence. I was excited by the, the what was happening in the theater, theater department there. there. Stanford is famous for improv, improvisation, which has influenced design thinking and a lot of things that are going on at Stanford. I think at the improv courses there are fantastic and well known. My professor um, was a big motivation for me to choose Stanford. So I, I chose Stanford and I did improv to gain creative confidence. Um, another big decision I've made in my life was to start my own business. I created Vince Prep in order to gain confidence as an entrepreneur. I wanted to see if what I had done at my, my previous company could work when I was running my own business. And finally, or more recently, I've agreed to be on the board of directors at the Association of International Graduate Admissions Consultants, which is known as AGAC, because I wanted to see if the skills that I gained in Japan would be applicable on a global stage. So I wanted to see, test myself to have a global impact as a volunteer leader of a nonprofit uh, industry organization. So that's my walk me through the resume. It's too short. I've been working too long. Those I've made 
a lot more choices. My resume is a lot longer than just these three, but I wanted to pick these three because it was an easy way for, you, for me to demonstrate a distinct and, and different skill set with each choice. That's the logic. So be prepared at the end of this. If I had walked through you through my resume, you might next ask me why MBA. It's a very common follow-up question after the interviewers understood every choice you've made in your resume on paper um, to go into the future. Okay, so why MBA? Why now? Why this school? And what's your short-term goal? And what's your long-term goal, etc. So this structure sets up that conversation very well. So practicing it in this way. I think will really help you demonstrate what your interviewer is looking for, which is that you are, have been, and will continue to be on uh, an upward career trajectory, moving up in, into the into uh, a new world of excitement, including the MBA program. So the next steps: practice this every single day. Virtually guaranteed, your interviewer is going to say something like, "Introduce yourself or walk me through the resume," especially an alumni interview, and so. You can check out my website or just Google the phrase Vince Mirror Method. Um, a lot more tips over there about how to practice this every single day by talking to yourself in addition to talking to an admissions consultant or alumni of the school to which uh, you hope to attend. So thanks again for watching. Subscribe to my YouTube channel for the latest updates. I wish you the very best and bye for now.